What's up, investors? So I want to try a different video today. Uh, hopefully this one's shorter. I really just want to focus on the technical analysis portion. And I want to touch on, of course, the semiconductor industry. But the stocks I want to touch on are NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. Uh, once again, just the technical analysis portion because I want to see potential good times to buy as the market seems to continue to downtrend. So I know I've done this in the past for AMD and Intel, so I'd like to update those, but I haven't done it for NVIDIA, so I want to find a decent buying opportunity uh, just in case if it hits that mark, I know when would be a good time to buy. So let's dive into this one. So for NVIDIA, once again, I'm kind of, I'm new at this stock, so let's just kind of I find a couple spots here. It looks like I'm seeing a little bit of support here right around 205. Uh, not sure if it'll crack that low again. It looks like it touched very close to it not too long ago, about 20 days ago-ish. Uh, oh, and if you're not familiar, so each one of these bars is one week's worth of time not a day so it's one week so it looks like right here was uh, January 28th uh, it nearly touched it and not too long ago uh, it also touched it back in October it also marked a period of a high back in July the crazy thing about this stock is let me zoom out a little bit here N not even three years ago it was like $31 and in three years it went up 11x it, it's just nuts to me um i guess let's put in so zooming out there's definitely another line of support i could say um way back here i i can't imagine it would ever drop this low but there's definitely some support here uh we'll draw a, a thinner line up here because this obviously is whoops this is a a peak area uh, I'm going to put it actually on the, the red line. Uh, let's see if there's any other type of spot. I, I can put a faint line in here as well, right around, um, whoop, right around here, right around like 230-ish, two, 227 to be exact. There's a faint line there. Overall, though, if I can draw in a quick trend line, you can see... Uh, this stock is uh, going down. It, it's just, it's on its downward trend right now. Um, we, we'll carry that line out a little bit. Um, yeah, so it, it kind of looks like now might be a decent time to buy, just based on that uh, faint line. It all depends on how you're looking at it. Do I think it'll crack back down to 205? And that's... I mean, if it did, yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy at that point. Um, but I would say like, you know, 220 would be a decent spot in my opinion. Uh, so we can mark that down, but two, right around 200, 205, 210 would be nice. Um, if you're on the opposite side, uh, the bullish side, like you're waiting for it to like show signs of improvement. Um, you know, it, it'd probably be right around that two, 230 mark uh, we definitely have some support there so if it were to push say to like 240 maybe that's a time to buy because maybe at that point that's like a signal oh this might go up to that 350 mark again but right now i'm gonna guess that it's probably gonna consolidate just like we see back here in like august of 2020 up through march we we definitely had a period of consolidation uh, we'll even draw another faint line in there uh, just so you can see what i'm talking about Oh, did I miss it? Right about here, uh, right in this mark, you can see that there was decent sideways consolidation right in this like $24 zone that just kept bouncing between throughout those months. Then all of a sudden it just shot off, hit 200, cooled, cooled off for a couple weeks, uh, peaked again, but then dropped back down to that 200, and then it just rocketed up to 350, and now it's kind of pulling back for many reasons I think it got too hot around 350 so it's natural to pull back but at this point you know there's a lot of innovation around them I don't really cover them too much because I know a lot of youtubers do um, but of course you know whenever I do my research 
the video pops up all the time, so I'm very familiar with them. They're very, they're one of the hottest stocks right now, even in that industry. They do a lot of innovative ideas with AI technology. They're in the metaverse. Uh, just a little bit of background there. So overall, I would say this is a decent time to buy. I mean, there's a little bit of resistance here. Uh, but the real line would be 205. If you can get between like 205, 215, that zone, I uh, definitely want to get in on that. Me personally, that's what I would do. So let's jump into AMD, see what's going on there. So we already have some lines drawn in from the last time I looked at this. Uh, so I have this line at right around 155. It looks like there was a little bit of support here because there was the two peaks. That's why I drew that. Uh, we had this low right around 100. I could have swore it touched, or maybe that's how long ago I, I saw this. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, because is this, oh, this is the daily chart. Uh, let's go to weekly just, just to see what that looks like. Uh, yeah, the weekly chart looks a little different. Um, yeah, on the weekly chart, if I were to change this, I probably wouldn't even have this line here, to be honest. Or if I did, I would drop it down a little bit further. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just probably going to delete that line altogether. Uh, so looking at the weekly chart here, we still have that line at 150 That $100, I, I'm kicking myself for this one because I this stock dropped down here right, right around like 20 days ago, three weeks ago. Like it touched it, it touched that hundred dollar mark, and I didn't, I didn't push the chips in on that one. I, I regret it. I definitely bought more, uh, but I saw this and I was like, man, it just might keep going. Uh, but of course, it didn't. <laughs> it hit that line and bounced right back up. It, it's not doing as great as I think it can, especially after solid earnings. Uh, that's what this green line is, I imagine. That's when their earnings came out. They rocked it back up, and now once again, it's pulling back. Uh, overall, I'd say this is a decent buying opportunity because we know that it's it's capable of hitting 150. It probably even is worth 150. I'd have to look at what their P/E ratio is right now. Uh, I could even look that up real quick. Uh, we'll pull it up if I can. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like it's in a decent zone. If we could, if it goes between, if it drops below 110, it's definitely a buy for me. Uh, obviously, 100 would be great. I drew this 72 line because at the time it was downtrending, downtrending fast. We can even draw a little trend line in here. I'm just going to slice them right down the middle. Uh, so right around here, we'll even make that line a little bit thicker just to show that it is in a downtrend. We want to see that break out of it. Uh, it definitely came up a little bit, so we can draw a different trend line in here just for fun. Uh, it, it definitely is coming up a little bit, but you know, just not enough. We would need more time to see. So I'm, I'm more looking at uh, these trend lines here um, at that 155 mark to the 100. Um, overall, I guess I could draw in one other line. This one's a little more faint, but right around, honestly, right around where it is right now, uh, there's a little bit of support back here in August of 2021, and it's hovering right around that. So, um, you know, I would say if it pulls back further, you know, 100 is definitely on the table, and that's where I'd be looking for an excellent buying opportunity. But because it's right on that line, if it goes up, great. Uh, it's obviously broke that line before, so why wouldn't it do it again? It's clearly in a downtrend. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. I would say this one can go either way. But just based on all the factors that's going on, it could definitely pull back further, and I would be interested in buying, especially below 110. 100 would be, would be my prime target number for this one. Uh, so Intel, Intel, I, I really like this one. I think it's a great stock for the future. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. So this one's clearly sideways consolidating. I mean, ever since 2017, really. 2017, it's been chopping sideways. I like this one because they're doing a lot of things in terms of going out towards the future. They want to start a foundry business uh, similar to TSM, which is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing. And uh, everyone's into chips now, and Intel wants a piece of it. They're building new uh, properties so that they can get in that business. Uh, but otherwise, just in terms of technical analysis from like 2017, from late 2017, November, 
2017, they have been sideways consolidating for a while. We can draw in just a couple other lines just for added flavor, I suppose. We have decent marks here at 55, 56. You know, we, we saw it hit here right around mid-2018. Uh, it popped above that in first quarter of 2019. Uh, you can see it had highs here, uh, which was rejected in uh, first quarter of 2020. Again, it hit that line in October 2020. And then once again, uh, October 2021, hit it again even recently, January 2022. So this is actually a decent line of support. It's only cracked, I mean, it's cracked it a handful of times. And so that's why we have this other line of support at 68. You can see it's hit that twice. But right now it is, it's nearing this line of support that I drew in around 43. It's right now 45. I think this would be a great, a great stock to buy. Will it crack? So let's just say hypothetically, what if it cracked that line of about 43? What's the next line of support? Uh, the next major line of support is going to be all the way down here, probably around like 35. Would it get down to 35? Possibly. It possibly could do that. If it does that, I mean, the last time it was down there is... 2017 um, you know it's definitely possible to do it just because I know they're spending a lot of money a lot of people are worried about that because you know they're used to hitting gross margins of like 60% and if they're gonna start spending all this money that gross margin is probably gonna drop to like 45 and it's like Intel's not used to that they're used to high margins and all of a sudden now you're gonna go below 50% people don't like that but I think it'll be good for the business overall so I guess today, I would say right now is a decent time to start a position. And you know what? If it drops lower, uh, I would say clearly the next time would be 35. We could even draw in a, a very faint line. I'll do that just for appearances. Uh, right around here at, say, 41. And I'm going to make this line a little bit, a little bit lighter because it's not too solid there. But uh, yeah, if, if we were to crack, say 43 is my, my first line of support here. Sure, it could drop down to 41. That'd be another line of support, which once again, we haven't seen those lines since like 2018, 2017. Uh, beyond that, 35 would be like the ultimate floor. I can't imagine it would touch that. It, it could, and if it does, That'd be an even better time to buy. But overall, I would say this is a great time to buy too. I would, I'm very interested in starting a position in this one. It's a dividend play. I think it would be great, uh, just kind of a core stock to keep in your portfolio, especially if you're going to keep it, which I plan on keeping this one for probably about four or five years, I think would be a solid bet uh, to see this one probably 2x, 3x possible. It all depends on that boundary, how the chip market goes up, but they're they're innovating a lot. They have that new CEO, Gelsinger. Uh, this one could be something to see, uh, but it's very cyclical. You can see those peaks, but the dividends will get you through it for sure. Uh, and it's a pretty cheap stock, 45 bucks. You know, throw $100 into your account. You got two shares of Intel just like that. You'll make money along the way. Um, Oh, and as far as AMD, we'll pull that up. The PE ratio is right now 44. It's still pretty rich, surprising for how much this pulled back. If, it, if you can get it to where it's in like that high 30s again, it's a steal for sure. Um, I'm surprised it's still in the 40s, mid 40s at that. Uh, so they, whatever. Um, otherwise, you know, that's it for this video. I hopefully it's short enough that you'll kind of enjoy just kind of the thought process of what it's what i'm looking at whenever i'm making these uh trend lines and whatnot um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this uh please like please subscribe uh leave a comment let me know what you think if i can change anything make it better i also have a link to a weibo account if you are new to the platform which is that's what this these uh trend lines are I'm using Weeble for that, so if you're interested in using this, you can sign up. Any deposit you make, if you use the link in the description, 
you get two free stocks. So uh, have a great night. Bye, guys.